Hello guys, welcome to Envy's Guide to Proper Usage of Anivia's Wall. Anivia's Wall is one of the more game-changing spells that she has. Although she has a stun and a very powerful nuke, her wall can be used to force position for the other team. And you can really use it for good traps and even good escapes. So let's show you some examples here. These are showing off the main areas that you can block off. Note these are level 1 walls. You can block off these main pathways in the jungle that can really help you out if you're trying to gank someone in their jungle or if you're getting ganked. You can even block off right here on these side lanes going towards mid turret. This is a level 3 wall and mid you can block off from the turret to the wall. And with the level 4 wall you can completely block off Dragon Cove, trapping someone either in or keeping yourselves in if you're trying to avoid that gank. Level 4 wall you can block off this main pathway into blue buff. That's really huge. You can see right here, this is Baron buff. You can get, use this for very good traps after you get a Baron kill, or even if you're running away if the team got Baron. Right here at the level 5 wall, you can see completely trap buff between the turret and the wall at top lane. So let's show some examples here. So you can see right here, Teemo takes a lot of damage, and he's about to get jumped on by Warwick he's gonna die almost instantly rather so I'm gonna start going into the jungle because there's no saving him so I'm getting trapped here by Malzarzal and when I flash over the wall they're still chasing so I'm gonna throw my wall down and it's gonna slow down beyond enough that I'm able to get out and I'm long gone our next example here is the more common uses of the wall to stop an enemy team from retreating so you can see some poke action going on and right here, I catch that fiddle in a really good stun. She pops his Zona, Zonia's ring almost immediately. So he starts running towards the wrong side of the turret. I throw my wall down, creating a cove that now he's stuck in, and he dies almost instantly. It's a good way to pick up a kill. Here's a great example of how to catch someone out of position. I threw my wall down, keeping Wukong and Ezreal out while I pick up this free Gragas kill. It's a great way to catch someone out of position, and although the fight keeps going and we do end up winning the fight, I managed to get that Wukong kill because he was also separated away from his team that was down below trying to chase me. Here's some more examples on how the walls can be used very effectively. You can see here Wukong is doing the rates. I catch him with a stun, it does a lot of damage to him. As he moves towards his base, I walled him, forcing him to come towards me, hit him with a really, really strong combo, and pick up that kill. Moving back to the lane to keep farming, as if nothing really happened, like a boss. Gragas here is away from his team. I catch him with a good combo and throw my wall down trying to block his escape route, but he body slams away and he manages to get out. But in the same fight here, Wukong catches himself out of position. I blocked his escape route off with the wall and I catch a kill on him. Although Alistair dies, it was still pretty worth it. Karthus comes back in the same fight here. You can see he's doing a lot of damage to me with his defile. <laughs> I catch him with a huge combo, get the ignite on him, flash over the wall, and I'm able to get away, knowing that he already used his ult, and that I have my egg up. Gragas here, gets caught out of position. Now here's a great way to use the wall in a team fight. You can see here, I couldn't go in by myself. So Olaf goes in first, and although he dies very fast, I catch the Ezreal on the wall side towards me, and I get a really easy kill on him, also picking up the Wukong kill, while Karthus and Timo are on the other side, not able to do anything. Me and Alistair move around to the other side, hoping to catch someone, and we see Karthus walking up. I catch him with a good combo, throw my wall down, separating him from the rest of his team. I'll drag his ults from over the wall, and he ends up knocking <laughs> Alistair on the other side of the wall. However, when he body slammed over, I get a good combo on him, threw my ignite on him, and I pick up the kill. Thanks for tuning in. Please be sure to subscribe to my channel for other guides.